I'm Grant. Welcome to my show. Hello. On today's show, we're going to make a different twist to the old classic meatloaf. We're going to stuff a meatloaf with some spinach and some mushrooms and onions and olives. And uh, we have a nice ground deer and some uh, added beef for that and some eggs. We got some ground up crackers here and a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper and such there. And uh, we're going to get to work working on this uh, meatloaf. All right, we're going to get started here by, uh, I've got probably about three tablespoons of bacon grease. I would recommend using some olive oil because it's healthier. But we're going out today, we're gonna to feed the soul. I'm gonna probably turn that on about a little below medium maybe. We're gonna saute these uh, mushrooms and onions here, which I'll chop up. Okay, I've chopped up a few mushrooms here. Use about five large mushrooms, uh, probably about 10 or 12 little green onions there, about a half a cup of olives. Um, I'm using uh, about a pound of deer meat and about a pound of beef. And for the spinach, I'm using just a bag of spinach from the store. It's usually about eight to 10 ounces, that's 12 ounces or so. And uh, that'll all, these vegetables will all saute up together, uh, as you'll see here shortly. Um, crackers, that's probably about a half a package of, of uh, club crackers because that's all we had. I would normally use saltines, but we didn't want to go to the store extra today. And uh, then there's my seasonings. So I'm gonna chop all this stuff up and get it into the hot grease over here and saute that up and get ready to stuff up the meat. And these are just some green onions I bought at the grocery store. Uh, we generally grow some onions out here on the garden, but it's the middle of summer and the onions are kind of already done. We didn't really have great onions this year, but got some decent tomatoes. And these are just some canned olives. I don't know of anybody that grows olives around here. Do they even grow around here? Are they strictly Mediterranean? We got persimmons. Anybody ever put persimmons in a martini? Some boys up around Tahlequah drink them kind of martinis. <laughs> Little Chet Hollern. Just gonna pop that stuff right in there and let it cook up. I'm gonna let the uh, onions and the mushrooms and those olives kind of cook a little bit together before I add the spinach. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Santa Claus brought me those, I think. There we go. I need a handle for this sucker. That handle broke. It's just my favorite skillet. Got some vice grips, I guess I should put on there, jeez. <laughs> okay, I've let that cook down there a couple of minutes. I'm gonna add this spinach. And stir all this up in here. Fixing to mix this meat up here. I'm get my gloves on. You've been over 40, get out there and See your doctors. All right. I'm gonna season this up here and mix this meat up. Pack my egg into there. Although we have some chickens, they're not quite old enough to lay eggs, so we do have a neighbor with chickens. We keep fresh eggs from them. Old Hazard and Zender. They've got it all, man. So we're just gonna mix this egg and meat all together here and uh, seasoning and then we'll get the cracker crumbs in there. It's really nasty 
gross, isn't it? Mixing meat up. How come you never see hamburger sushi? You know, you see a lot of different sushis out there at sushi restaurants, but never seen anybody make a hamburger. That's probably disgusting, isn't it? I think these are done here. I'm gonna turn that off and uh, finish mixing in these cracker crumbs here. And then we will get ready to lay this sucker out and roll it up. Just got some wax paper here, about the size of my loaf pan. This recipe does require a loaf pan, but I think you can maybe kind of get it to work in a standard pan, possibly. I've never tried it. Uh, I'm gonna take the meat here and I'm gonna roll that meat out. And flat. Kind of get it as even as you can as far as the thickness going through there. Probably about an inch thick. That's roughly an inch. Okay, I've got that uh, spinach and mushrooms and stuff here all together. I'm gonna drain a little bit more water out of it. There we go. Now I'm just gonna spread that out on top of this meat blanket. Meat blanket. It's gotta be a cousin of meat wad. There you go, just kind of spread that stuff out there, like so. Nice even layer. Now the fun part, I'm try to roll this sucker up. So, just kind of roll it and pull that paper off. Boom. And then try to get in the pan without totally tearing it up. Maybe one of these moves. Don't try that at home, folks. Or you might have to. But at any rate. There we go. It's in the pan. Now I believe if we cook this in the oven about 350 degrees for probably about a half an hour, we're gonna be in business. All right, I got my oven preheated here at about 350. I'm gonna pop this sucker in here. Set the timer for, I'm gonna come back in 25 minutes and check on it. See if it needs a little bit more. Whoa, I think that a meatloaf's done. That sounded like the oven thing to me. All right, we'll see here. See what we got. You want to going to use a hot mitten oven mitt and a hot pad. I choose split lip Rayfield hot pads. They're the better hot pads for all those people that like hot pads to be nice. All right, set this out there. I am just going to drain a little bit of that fat off of there. Just dumping that in my skillet. We'll wash that stuff. Who wants to do dishes, right? A little bit of a mess won't hurt. I'm 
using a fiddle bow knife. It's razor sharp. It's great for tomatoes. It's made in Arkansas. Don't use it on an actual fiddle. The tone's awful. So, uh, there you go, folks. We have nice spinach stuffed meatloaf there. Serve that up with some nice mashed potatoes or some carrots or some vegetables of some kind and a salad. We did have a little bit of leftover meat. I'll probably uh, mix some sage and make some breakfast sausage out of that for tomorrow for breakfast or some burgers or something. Um, next time we're gonna go overseas and maybe make some Lebanese dish of some kind.